Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Consumers Race Course here on Sunday. It is February the 12th, 2017. We're going to look at race number three from Consumers, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections from racetracks across the world. Today's third race is the Pre La Riviera listed stakes. It's going for an estimated purse of $63,000 for four year olds and upwards. It's basic listed stakes, field of eight horses going the 2000 meters or one mile and one quarter ahead of him and there's a horse i really like in this race and that's the one horse epilobar um you know he's coming out some very nice runs um against some very tough horses lately and uh, you know he looks very hard to beat in the spot so i'm gonna use the one horse epilobar in a tri cast or a trifecta i'm gonna go one eight six one eight six but number one epilobar two to one here christian damero's on this four-year-old colt um this horse was made his first start in almost six uh, almost seven months actually a few weeks ago two weeks ago here at consumers mile a quarter on the all weather and lounge race for 29,000 horse went easy by a length a lot of the horses are coming out of that race to run here today um you know this horse just um you know took off in the stretch clear clear victory even watching the replay you could have told this horse wasn't 100 percent cranked i think he'll be cranked here today to really go and win big start before on june the 5th of 2016 a chantilly or shanty uh mile and a quarter yielding turf course into group one pre day jockey club this horse finished fifth by four and a quarter four and a half lengths behind almanzor and zarak and dictone you know it was a decent fifth place finish against so much tougher uh in one of the premier turf races in europe you know he held his own that day for finishing fifth and then to start before May the 8th at saint Cloud, a mile and a quarter, and, per and personally one of my favorite races of the year in France, it's the Prix de Gafoul Stakes, uh, I say it's my favorite race, yet I can't pronounce it, you know, this horse finished fourth that day by three lengths behind Cloth of Stars, Robin of Navin, and another horse, um, you know, he, it was a little bit of a tough race, he, he, the ground maybe wasn't to his liking that day, because he, he does a little better on wet ground, Proof before that on, on March 12th at Sound Clue to a Quarter and Listed Stakes. Horse won away with it, winning by three lengths. Easy, easy victory. I wonder, are they going to use this race as a prep race to the race at Sound Clue coming up in about, uh, I, th I believe, the first race, the turf racing at Sound Clue uh, kicks off in about the uh, the second Sunday in March. So that's about uh, th three weeks away, About uh, actually about a month time. So maybe they're going to wait for that song clue race because i think he he loves song clue um so I, I think he'll run well here today he won this race last year so i'm going to use him as a top pick so to recap my best race number three from consumers it's to pre la Riviera listed stakes gonna go with the one horse apple obar gonna go 186 186 so good luck to all and follow me on twitter at horse racing kit 5 good luck everybody